Hello and welcome to another video with me, Christian Rauchenwein. Today's video is brought to you by HeliumMart.com, the online store for Helium Network hotspots and accessoires. HeliumMart was kind enough to not only provide me with a Rovan Mary IoT hotspot that we're going to unbox in this video and it hopefully will also appear in future earning comparison videos and more, but to also set up a coupon code for you that will give you a 3% discount on your orders as well. If you want to pre-order your own Brovan Mary IoT Helium Network Hotspot, you can find a link to Helium Mart in the description and the first pinned comment down below. And since I know you're wondering at the time of recording this video, the estimated delivery time for the hotspot at HeliumMart.com is with 8 to 13 weeks actually much shorter than those of pretty much every other manufacturer and online store, at least the ones I know. Unlike the Malsite UG65 that we looked at in a previous video, which you can by the way find by clicking on the card up here, the Brovan Mary IoT Helium Network Hotspot is a pure indoor hotspot and with an IP40 rating is not protected from liquids or in other words it is not waterproof and should be installed in a dry location indoors. While it still leaves you the option to install the hotspot indoors and use an extension wire to place the actual LoRaWAN antenna outdoors, if you already know that your hotspot is going to be installed outdoors, I'd recommend that you check out the Malsite UG65 instead. You can find more details about the Malsite UG65 also on the HeliumMart.com website. Besides that, just like most other hotspots, the Brovan Mary IoT comes with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and a LoRaWAN antenna that in this case offers an antenna gain of 2 dBi. Depending on how much research you did, you might already know that a different antenna gain results in a different signal pattern. And while I don't want to get into too much detail in this video, it's important to understand that a higher antenna gain does not automatically mean that your hotspot is going to earn more. In fact, in urban areas where you're surrounded by a lot of buildings, a lower gain antenna often is the best option, will offer the best coverage, which makes the 2 dBi antenna the Brovan Mary IoT hotspot comes with a solid choice for most users. However, if you're curious to learn more about what kind of difference a lower or higher gain antenna may have on the coverage of your Helium Network hotspot, I recommend that you click on the card up here and check the video you find there. And for those cases where you actually would benefit from a different antenna, HeliumMart.com has you covered as well and offers a broad selection of high quality antennas and cables to make sure your setup is as good as it can be. Anyways, with all that out of the way, let's take a look at the Brovan Mary IoT Helium Network hotspot and see what you get once you order yours. As you can probably guess by the look of the box already, I already took a peek inside in this case, but I didn't unpack the whole hotspot, I just opened the main box so far, so I also don't know what beside the hotspot and the antenna is actually in the box. Now let's start with the unboxing by opening up the box here. And what we can see, like with most other hotspots, we have a short flyer, in this case it's one page, that basically provides the quick installation guide. So you just have to scan the QR code with your mobile phone and then follow the steps here to set up your Brovan Mary IoT hotspot and start mining and earning helium coins. Gonna put that aside and the next thing we see is actually already the hotspot, which is still wrapped in additional plastic. I have to say I'm actually surprised by the small size of the device. If we were to compare it with the very popular Ruck V2, the Ruck V2 would roughly be those dimensions, although it would be roughly also this high. So overall, when it comes to volume, the hotspots probably have roughly the same space usage or the same volume. But I have to say that the Brovan Mary IoT looks much better than the Cultship Ruck V2. Now, other than that, there is not much to it. We see that we have a few status LEDs here for power internet or ethernet connection, Wi-Fi and LoRaWAN. And on the back we can see that we have a couple of plugs for resetting the hotspot, power plug, ethernet, a USB connector. I honestly have no idea what this wire here is for, so it's probably mentioned somewhere in the booklet or in the manual that you can find online. And finally the plug or the socket for the LoRaWAN antenna. With that, let's put the hotspot aside as well and take a look what else is in there. First of all, quality assurance or quality control passed, so everything should be in there. It's a good sign when you find stuff like that in products that you buy online because it at least indicates that at the factory each device is manually checked to, to make sure that everything is complete and that you're not missing any parts and that it has been properly assembled. Now the next thing we can do is obviously lift this 
part of the box here. And what we see next is first of all a power plug here. I'm not gonna unbox this because it's obvious it's the charger or the power supply for the hotspot. And the 2 dB iron antenna which surprisingly in this case comes actually with an antenna base. And that's something I honestly didn't expect, which gives you a lot of options to place the hotspot somewhere in the shadow while still placing the antenna on your windowsill or close to your window to actually improve the coverage area of your hotspot. I don't want to unwrap the wire, but I would guess that it's one or maybe even two meters of wire. Either way, if I think back, like with our CultShip hotspot, we actually had to buy a third party antenna base so that we could remove the hotspot from the sunlight on the windowsill while still having the antenna there. So I really consider it a great thing that in this case there is actually an antenna base with the hotspot shipped already that just gives you so much more flexibility in terms of where you place your hotspot. And in the end, you don't have to have ugly network wires going to your windowsill, but you will just have the one wire going to your antenna base. That's pretty much it. As you can see, the rest of the box is empty. So I'm just gonna put that all back real quick. That's it. That's all you get when you order your own Brovan Mary IoT Helium Network hotspot. It's nice to see that Brovan not only provides an antenna base that allows you to install the antenna somewhere away from the hotspot and make sure that the hotspot stays in the shadow, but that they on top of that actually also put some effort into the design and that the Mary IoT hotspot actually looks more like an Apple TV than a Raspberry Pi. Sure, in the end, what matters are the earnings, but it's a nice benefit to know that the hotspot also looks decent. Anyways, if you want to pre-order your own Brovan Mary IoT Helium Network hotspot, you can do so as mentioned at heliummart.com by simply following the link in the description or the pinned comment down below. And by using the discount code that you can see somewhere on the video, you'll actually get a 3% discount as well. If you have any questions whatsoever, you can as usual just leave them in the comments down below or even better use the links in the description or pinned comment down below to join our Discord community and discuss Helium Network and the Brovan Mary IoT hotspot with me and the community there. Thanks for watching. See you in one of my other videos. Till then, bye bye.